our live people. You want me to start with a statement, Kenny? Or questions? Or um, You know, it's good to be out in front of our, our fans, you know, for our guys, you know, practicing against each other every day for, you know, what, what turns out will be six weeks. It's only been two, two and a half weeks to this point. Uh, it becomes, for those guys, monotonous. For the coaches, not. But uh, it's good to be in front of our fans. Um, you know, obviously, we've got a lot of work to, uh, to do. But, um, you know, my main goal of not getting anybody hurt um, was accomplished. And that's all I care about when we're going preseason scrimmage in terms of what we're trying to get out of it. So, uh, again, we got a lot of things we have to clean up on both ends of the floor. It's tough when you go inter-squad scrimmage because, you know, the way we want to play with our pace, um, you don't have many subs. You know, you maybe have one scholarship player on your side. So, uh, we're in a much better position where, you know, years past we'd have three or four scholarship players on each side, but um, no, I thought we played uh, quickly. I thought some of our, our decisions uh, need to be better. Uh, we're a better shooting team than that. This is the first time we've gotten in the Yum Center all year, an uh, hour before the scrimmage started, just because of the uh, scoreboard they're putting up, but um, all good. So questions? Hey, Jerry. First one is, who surprised you in today's scrimmage, and were you happy with the pace of play, the way they got up and down the floor? Yeah, I, again, I thought Matt Cross was, was really good. You know, I think a lot of times people think of Matt as a guy that just shooter only and, uh, you know, did a great job of eyeing the rim, baiting closeouts, finishing at the basket. You know, he's a strong kid and he can really, really shoot, uh, which our players know that. So their closeouts were a little bit more aggressive and, and he took advantage of it. Um, you know, Malik, despite his shooting percentage, he just does so much for us defensively. Um, you know, I thought he was uh, really good. So, um, you know, it was it was it was a good day. I, I think the pace was good. Guys got tired, and uh, we don't really have the substitution ability that we would in games. But I, I thought our pace was pretty good. The first four or five minutes of the scrimmage, it wasn't very good. I don't know. It was the first time just being in front of fans. Uh, guys lost their oxygen uh, in the first two or three minutes. But I thought after that they settled in, and for the most part, it was where we wanted to be. And how close was what we saw, what you've been seeing all, all practice? Well, I, I think that you know, it's a work in progress. You know, it just is. Um, we're asking those guys to, to, to really push the ball, make decisions on the fly, be great in pick and roll. And uh, generally, they're going to play three, four, five minutes, and they're going to get a sub. You know, today, it's like Jared West, you know, hardly came out. So. Uh, got to make a little bit better decisions with the basketball. I thought the pace was was decent. It's a little bit easier when you're in practice to be on them, to have that same type of pace. But uh, I don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get that as time goes forward. Well, I think it's up to our, our players to figure out the spots in our offense to set, their, set, set themselves up to get a good look. You know, whether that's a drive, Matt Cross did it today. You know, there were a lot of guys in positions that Matt was in today, and he took advantage of it. You know, a quick eye of the rim, a good little fake, got him into the lane and got him finishing at the basket. You know, some of the other guys have to figure out how to pull those opportunities out of our offense. Um, you know, some of our big guys, because of our ball screen defensive coverage, um, caught the ball in short roll situations right below the foul line. They've got to be able to convert like J.J. did a couple times. They've got to be able to spray out like Gabe did a couple times. And depending on how people are covering uh, our ball screen action, you know, we'll have different solutions uh, in terms of attacking it. You know, we we're, we're tend to be aggressive. We tend to be aggressive on ball screen coverage. So that's the type of coverage that we're going to see uh, in a scrimmage. But we know we're going to see all different types throughout the year. Chris, how is L coming along, uh, uh, you know, coming from junior college? I mean, obviously out there he can make some jaw-dropping plays. Yeah, I thought L was uh, up and down in the scrimmage. I would say that his preseason has been a lot of the same. It's great to have a guy like Jared who's so solid and stable and, uh, you know, can really teach him how to run a team. 
you know, L's very, very dynamic. I think you saw a stretch where, you know, he got to the rim on a few occasions, got his secondary defender in the air and dumped it off easy for a dunk. And he's going to do plays like that. Uh, he's a better scorer, I think, than he showed today. Uh, defensively, he's got a long way to go. He's got to be able to harass the other team's point guard. He's got to be able to, like, bully over the top of ball screens. He's got to fight harder when he gets mismatched in the post. Um, and he's got to figure out, you know, how, how to stop the other team in transition. I think one of the times he, he picked up Jared at like 16 feet and Jared stopped and shot a, a pull-up three in transition, which, you know, shouldn't be an easy look if you're, if you're doing your job defensively. So he's got in that lot of areas he's got to improve. And the great thing is he's a smart kid. He recognizes that. Uh, he's playing in a, in a, lot, in a system that, um, you know, demands accountability. But he, he's coming along. He's got things he can't teach. Chris, uh, what did you think about the overall play and aggressiveness out of the five spot? Malik Williams looked like he was playing, you know, injury pretty fresh and running up and down the court. And plus, Sidney Curry got involved several times in offensive putbacks and on the glass and such. Yeah, we got a lot of options at the five. You know, we may not have uh, outside of Malik an experienced guy at that position, but we have a lot of options, and each of them give us uh, a little bit different look. You know, Gabe is really uh, cerebral when it comes to understanding our offense, how to get himself open. Uh, I thought the pass he made out to the perimeter on that short roll was, was a really, really good good read. Started off the scrimmage uh, with, with a jump hook over his left shoulder. You know, J.J. really good in the mid-range. He's got to do a better job rebounding the ball. Uh, Sid can rebound. He doesn't get moved off his spot. Roosevelt's just a freshman. He's got a lot to learn, uh, including just being an everyday guy. Um, but he's no different than a lot of freshmen, you know, that have to grow. But you know, we have a lot of options at that position they've got to be able to defend and rebound their position and uh, I don't know if there could if they could be a be around a better um, mentor than Malik Williams uh, in terms of understanding um, his role having a voice teaching the guys uh, Malik does a terrific job Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of length on the floor, you know. And, and if Jalen makes really good decisions on the perimeter, you know, when, when he drives his man uh, and he's strong with the ball and he's finishing at the rim, I mean, he's a load, you know, he's 6'8". But he, he has to be able to be consistent for us in that. He's practiced the entire preseason as a perimeter player. With that becomes perimeter responsibility and accountability of being strong with the ball and, and not being loosey-goosey and – you know, losing the ball on drives and making errant passes. Uh, he was clearly better today than, than his bad moments when he's had those in practice. If he can have really consistent moments for us as a perimeter player, he is a tough matchup in the post. He obviously led us in rebounding today. Um, you know, he's shot the ball really well from the three in the preseason, and he opens up a lot of possibilities for our team if he's playing consistent. Thanks, guys.